Welcome everyone, in front of me I have Samsung Galaxy A17 and in today's video I'm gonna show you screenshot tricks on this smartphone so stay with me and watch the whole video to learn about the screenshots on this smartphone. Enjoy! So I was testing this smartphone for a little while and based on my personal use of this device I can show you all of the possible ways to take a screenshot on this smartphone. Uh, also I will show you what to do with these screenshots, how to edit them and where to find the capture screen uh, on Samsung Galaxy A17. So let's start. Uh, as always get into the settings then scroll down and move to the advanced features. In here we have uh, two uh, important options. The first one is screenshots. Uh, in here we have uh, all available uh, features that we can use to mm, customize our screenshots. So at first you should always enable show toolbar, uh, toolbar after capturing because I'm gonna show you later the toolbar after we take the first uh, screenshot. And the second option is delayed after sharing, so it automatically selects the delayed after sharing option when you share screenshot or smart select captures. Uh, you can enable it or not, it depends on your preferences. Uh, the same way uh, if you want to hide the status uh, and navigation bar, so the status bar like uh, with the notch and the battery status and the hour and navigation bar, so in my uh, case uh, free button navigation. Uh, you can choose if you want to have it or not on your screenshots. Now save original screenshots, uh, this lets you revert to the original screenshots after editing them in gallery, uh, but it uses more storage space because you, your device need to uh, save somewhere the original uh, screenshot. Uh, here we can uh, choose the format, uh, JPG or PNG, uh, I'm using JPG always, and uh, the last thing is uh, save screenshot in the folder that you can pick by yourself. Uh, in my uh, in my case it's uh, DCIM and screenshots uh, so I press done and that was the first uh, options uh, the second one is in motion and gestures you have to make sure that you enable palm swipe to capture because this allows you to take a screenshot in a very cool way uh, Personally, uh, I like using uh, this method, uh, so uh, now let's uh, go to the uh, exact uh, possibilities to take our screenshot. Uh, the first one will be by using a side keys, so uh, you should press the power button and volume down button at the same time, uh, like me, and press it once. So your screen screen should blink and on the left down corner you can see the preview of your screenshot. Uh, you can tap on it and then you, you will be able to uh, open it with a photos or gallery. I'm gonna go with a photos just once. Uh, and now we can use uh, this toolbar. We can share this uh, screenshot, we can edit it. Uh, search uh, by Google Lens anything on the screenshot in the web or you can move it to the trash and uh, so if we choose edit we have a lot of uh, options that we can use to make our screen uh, in a way we want it uh, so you can just uh, play with these uh, features and see what you like or what you want to use uh, if you're done, then uh, you should press uh, save copy. If you want to cancel it, then press cancel. Uh, I'm gonna move this uh, screenshot to the trash because I don't want it. And uh, now let's get back and let's move on to the uh, second option to take a screenshot. And this is by using this palm gesture, which you activate in here in motion and gestures uh, settings. So you have to move your uh, hand from the left uh, to the right uh, edge of your screen like this uh, and again screen blinks uh, and I was talking about a toolbar after uh, taking a screenshot so 
uh, the toolbar is uh, these three options here so you can uh, crop this uh, edit or share uh, the screenshot in an easy way mm, you don't want you don't need to tap on it and get into the uh, gallery or photos on your device and the third way is by using a tab menu so uh, at first you have to open the tab menu by dragging your finger from the right upper corner to down in here we have a tab menu we can uh, unroll this section here uh, i can see there is no screenshot uh, tiles so i want to click this pencil here and press edit in here and uh, look for take screenshot option so i have available button in here i need to drag it from the uh, un unavailable uh, tiles to the exact uh, location on my tab menu i'm gonna drag it to the second row because i like using it, it this way uh, after that i press done and one more time done uh, and now i can just uh, use this tile uh, take screenshot to to take a screenshot so it works like this it's very easy uh, and unfortunately there is no way to take the screenshot from uh, edge panel uh, edge panel is uh, this one uh, we have a lot of uh, available applications that we can use to uh, in our uh, quick access edge panel but unfortunately there is no screenshot uh, way mm. Let's check it with it. We have a, a long screenshot, so you know, we're gonna take a screenshot in any uh, way you want. And yes, we have a scrolling screenshot. So in here we have additional uh, icon. I didn't. I don't know if you uh, see this. Uh, if you press it then your uh, device will automatically uh, scroll a little bit if you hold the finger then uh, your device will uh, scroll down to the very bottom of the settings uh, and save your screenshot uh, in while in uh, only one screen so you don't need to take a screenshot for every part uh, of your screen then scroll down take another screenshot scroll down take another screenshot you can just uh, move to the top of the uh, page make a screenshot sorry i not like using uh, the way uh, the side way Oops, i mean side keys way uh, so I'm gonna take a screenshot and one more time and one more time hold my finger to show you how it works again uh, and it scrolled to the bottom of the settings so I can tap on it and you can see all of the page screen so that was all for this video I hope you like it leave a like comment evoke of course, subscribe to our YouTube channels. Goodbye.